Wardens are the most powerful mobs in all of Minecraft, which is why I wanted to make them even stronger. So I created the Warden Wolf. A warden that has perfect sense, can blast supersonic booms, and is 10 times mightier than a normal warden. Now, for the next 100 days, I'll be surviving as the Warden Wolf in-game, gaining tons of incredible abilities and growing into even bigger forms. Will I be able to save my family from the evil Wither Wolf or lose everything? You'll have to watch until the end to find out. On day one, I spawned in as a baby Warden Wolf with my Warden Wolf family. I was surrounded by my mom, dad, and six brothers and sisters. Welcome to the world, Bronzo. Suddenly, the ground opened under us as our den was invaded by a pack of Wither Wolves led by their Wither Wolf leader. The Warden Wolves have ruled long enough. It's time that the Wither Wolves become the true alpha species. Oh no! My siblings ran in fear out of the den as some of the Wither Wolves chased after them. Leave my family alone! My dad charged in at the Wither Wolf leader and tried to defend our home from the intruders. Unfortunately, his warden powers weren't enough to stop the Wither Wolf. I watched as he trapped both my dad and mom inside of a cage. Bronzo, you must reunite with your siblings and everything will become clear then. I knew I didn't stand a chance against the Wither Wolf army, so I ran for my life. Don't let him escape! On day two, I was being chased by the pack of Wither Wolves. I tried to take cover inside a dripstone cave, but no matter where I turned, it seemed like they were lurking around every corner. There was no way out of here. I'm going to get caught at this rate! Suddenly, a new power awoke inside of me, allowing me to see entities through walls. I could now see where all the Wither Wolves were searching. Whoa, I wonder what other abilities I have. I used my new power to avoid the enemies and find a safe path. Unfortunately, I accidentally led myself right into a corner. I was about to turn around when I sensed something behind me. Wh who's there? I turned around and was face to face with a stone brute. Looks like I found myself some dinner. With nowhere to run, I desperately began digging and realized realized that as a wolf, I had increased digging speed. I have to get out of here! I tried to escape the cave as the stone brute continued to chase behind me. On day three, I was digging through the underground, trying to escape the stone brute chasing after me. I dug into another cavern where I found the horrible stone brute staring right at me. The creature lunged forward and attacked me, unleashing all its fury at once. In a panic, I dug down directly under me, causing me to fall into a lava pit. I plunged into the magma, but to my surprise, I wasn't hurt. As a warden wolf, I was fire resistant. The stone brute foolishly chased down after me, but fell into the lava pit, causing him to burn to death. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to celebrate as the Wither Wolf leader jumped down into the cavern. I quickly ducked under the lava and held my breath as the terrifying wolf searched the area for me. Come out, Warden Wolf! I knew revealing myself would mean I would die, but I was quickly running out of breath under the lava. Just then, I spotted a cavern under the lava. I swam through the cavern in hopes of escaping the Wither Wolf leader. On days four through seven, I came out on the other side of the lava pool to find a lush cave where one of my sisters, Rose, was fighting off the Wither Wolves. Rose, is that you? She had powerful slashing attacks with her Warden Wolf claws, but the Wither Wolves outnumbered her. Leave my sister alone! Suddenly, I unleashed a sonic boom that blasted the Wither Wolves away. The blast caused the wall behind it to crumble, and waiting there was a Thunderworm. Look what we have here. You're mine now. The beast closed in on me, and I was about to get killed. Rosso, take my power! 
Suddenly, Rose shot a beam of light at me, causing my body to transform. I grew bigger in size and stood up on two legs. I was now an adult warden wolf with five more hearts. I noticed I now had access to the same warden wolf claw attacks Rose was using. I used my new powers to slash at the monster. The monster tried to pin me down with a lightning attack, summoning different bolts that continually damaged me. But I was determined to win this battle. I used my new spectral grasp to pull him closer to me before ripping him to shreds with my claws. With the last flurry of attacks, the thunder worm died. Whoa, I can harness the abilities of my siblings to become stronger. Suddenly, the room began to tremble. Something bad was happening. This way, before it's too late. I wasted no time following my sister out of the cave. On days eight through 10, I followed Rose back to the overworld where we saw a village under attack by wither skeletons. That must be the source of the shaking. Let's help them. The two of us rushed into battle to try and fight off the wither skeletons threat. Rose and I used our warden wolf claws to slash down the enemies, but no matter how many we defeated, they would return back to life. They're impossible to kill since they're already dead. Suddenly, we heard a voice call out to us. Come here, quick. We followed the villager to a hiding spot and took cover from the wither skeletons. What's going on here? Our village has been cursed by the wither skeletons. Please find the artifact of the dead at the grave graveyard so we can be free. I'll stay here and protect the villagers. Go find the artifact of the dead. I agreed to the mission and set off in search for the artifact. While I was on my way to search for the artifact, I saw something shiny on the ground, hoping it was the artifact. Instead, it was a smartphone. Wait, this has my favorite mobile game, Arena Breakout. Well, I had to play this for you. Get ready to be blown away by Arena Breakout. It's a total game changer. Picture this, a mind-blowing extraction looter shooter that kicks war simulation up a notch. Immerse yourself in the craziest FPS game ever made for mobile. We're talking realism cranked up to the max. Take your firearm customization to new heights with the gunsmith system, 700 parts, 10 slots, and a universe of possibilities. Whether you're into head-on battles or prefer the sneaky stealth mode, it's all up to you. But remember, it's not just about staying alive. It's about hitting that jackpot. Fight your way out of the combat zone for insane rewards. Just be careful, lose, and it's all gone. And guess what? The next-gen tactical FPS isn't just for the pros. It's perfect for Escape from Tarkov fans. Say adios to battle royales. Arena Breakout is in a league of its own, far from COD Warzone. Jump into high stakes action where shooting, looting, and securing your stash are the keys to success. Every decision matters, so choose your weapons and gear wisely. With over 700 mods, customize your arsenal for the ultimate gaming experience. Want more? Dive into open market trading to boost your wealth beyond missions. But hold on, Arena Breakout isn't just a game. It's a virtual universe. Build your resources, loot like a boss, and decide if you're up for a brawl, some looting, or just soaking in the Dark Zone vibes. Challenge bosses with your buddies, score epic loot, and watch your character grow. The makers of Arena Breakout have leveled a challenge against me that I just couldn't pass up. I've got to survive in the dark zone and beat a boss starting with just a knife. Sounds intense, I know, but I've survived worse, right? It's not even for 100 days. So the trick with a knife is to not get spotted by running or making a lot of noise. This will allow me to get closer for the kill. Then I've got to loot him so I can have some actual weapons and take on the rest. All right, now that I'm geared up, I can take on whoever. Sweet, now I just got to get extracted. Awesome, leveling up feels so satisfying. One thing I love about Arena Breakout is the scenery. Would you look at that? Reminds me of Minecraft kinda. Anyways, off to grind more loot. After a lot of battles, I felt I was ready to take on a boss. So I dropped in and headed into the dangerous area. I'm starting off strong. I'm getting some good shots in. This battle is intense, but the boss is almost out. Yes, I won. 
That's just a small taste of what Arena Breakout has in store for you. And the best part? You can experience this epicness anywhere, anytime, for free. Holidays with the fam or chilling outdoors with friends. Arena Breakout is your go-to game. So what are you waiting for? Jump into the action, create your legacy, and rule the mobile gaming world with Arena Breakout. Don't snooze on this. Use the download link in the description and let the adventure begin. Thanks Arena Breakout for sponsoring this video. That was awesome, but I gotta continue looking for that artifact. Maybe I can play some more later. On days 11 through 14, I arrived at the graveyard and found the artifact of the dead. Is this what the villager was telling me about? I approached the artifact, but before I could grab it, wither skeletons climbed out of the ground. Intruder, there's a wolf after our artifact. The horde attacked me with their swords and I defended myself with my claws. Unfortunately, just like before, they continued to come back to life. No matter how many times I struck them down. I tried to clear a path instead and used my sonic boom to push all of the wither skeletons out of the way. I took my chance to run towards the ancient artifact, but before I could grab it, another wither skeleton dropped in front of me out of nowhere. Good night! He hit me with his weapon and everything went dark. On days 15 through 17, I woke up in the nether where the wither skeleton king was standing in front of me. What's going on? Welcome to my domain. If you wish to free the town from its curse, then overcome my trial. But if you fail, then your soul will belong to me. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Suddenly, the ground opened beneath my feet and dropped me into a giant maze. I spotted the artifact of the dead waiting for me in the distance, and I knew that I needed to get it at all costs. I'm taking that artifact. I began to walk towards the artifact when a massive minotaur walked by me. I managed to take cover before getting seen by the horrible monster. Where are you, Warren Wolf? What's going on here? Just then, the sound of the Wither Skeleton's King's voice blasted through the maze. Get to the artifact without being captured. Your trial has begun. On days 18 through 21, I began to make my way through the maze. Thanks to my echolocation abilities, I was able to stay away from the massive minotaur threat that was hunting me down. As I was about to finally reach the artifact, I heard the sound of a familiar voice calling for help. In the corner of the artifact room, my brother Leo was cornered by the giant minotaur. Oh no, brother Leo! I knew I couldn't leave him to die, so I blasted a sonic boom at the monster to get his attention. Hey big guy, over here! The monster ran after me, giving me the chance to lure it away from my brother. Leo, get the artifact, hurry! Leo ran towards the artifact while I did my best to distract the beast in the maze. Soon enough, I was cornered, and just as I thought it was the end, Leo grabbed the artifact, completing the trial for the both of us. We were teleported back in front of the Wither Skeleton King, who loomed over us in a rage. We won your trial, now let us go! No! Nobody lives through my trial! You'll both pay! Without warning, the Wither Skeleton King attacked us! On days 22 through 25, I was fighting off the Wither Skeleton King with my brother Leo. I used my Warden Wolf Claws to try and give me an edge while Leo used his own Warden Magic abilities. Despite us combining our strength, we didn't stand a chance against the Wither Skeleton King. He loomed over us, smashing his giant skeletal hands down at us before launching forth a Wither Skull, which exploded as it slammed into the ground. This nightmare skeleton had us on the ropes. It's not too late, let me help you. A beam of light shot from Leo's body towards me, causing me to transform. I grew bigger in size and gained even bigger fangs and claws. I was an even more powerful warden wolf with five hearts and Leo's magic powers. Time to test out my new form. I lunged in and used my new warden magic on the Wither Skeleton King. I was faster and stronger than before and the enemy couldn't keep up. No! 
This can't be! I used my magic powers to summon the Red Scythe of Doom and dealt the final blow to the king. Suddenly, Leo and I were teleported back to the overworld, where all of the wither skeletons in the village died at once. We did it! <laughs> We didn't celebrate long before I spotted a mysterious spirit running by in the distance. What was that? Are they linked to my new powers? I left my brother behind and pursued the spirit unsure of what secrets it might be hiding. On days 26 through 28, I followed the spirit into what looked to be the den of the wither wolves. I kept myself hidden as I watched their leader speak to a group of his men. All of you will stop at nothing until the seven warden wolf pups are captured. Fraser! He's hunting down both me and my siblings. What does he want with us? I had to find a clue, so I continued looking for the spirit. I used my warden powers to see through walls and avoid the wither wolves that were walking around. I knew one wrong move would get me captured, so I had to be careful. I searched the den for the spirit until suddenly I heard someone calling out for help. help! I hurried towards the source of the yelling to find the spirit being attacked by a shadow beast. Don't worry, I'm coming! On days 29 through 32, I jumped into the battle to try and defend the spirit from the shadow beast threatening them. Leave them alone! A warden wolf, huh? I can't wait to turn you over to our leader! The monster lunged at me, and I tried my best to fight back. The beast bit and slashed at me before attacking me with its spiked tail. I attacked back with my warden spells and slash attacks. The two of us went back and forth, but the beast was powerful. Neither one of us was giving in. Fuck! I moved out of the way, and the spirit fired a beam of energy at the monster, stunning him temporarily. We took our chance to make a run for it, narrowly escaping the threat. What are you doing here? I was looking for you! Come with me! I followed the spirit to a volcano, where we could see wither wolves were patrolling the outside. I saw some wither wolves taking your brother into that place. That doesn't look good. Thanks for the lead. I began to search for a way inside alone, leaving the spirit behind. On days 33 through 35, I arrived inside of the volcano where I saw some wither wolves walking around. Where are they headed? I tried to follow behind them, but out of nowhere, I heard a voice calling out to me. Intruder, get him! The wither wolves turned in my direction, and I began to make a run for it deeper into the volcano. I ran into a massive bottomless pit that stopped me in my tracks. The wither wolves were still chasing after after me, so I used the floating platforms to try and jump over to the other side. I managed to make each of the jumps, but when I turned around, I realized the wither wolves were still following me. Take this! I used my sonic boom attack to destroy the platforms, causing the wither wolf pursuers to fall into the dark pit below. They know I'm here. I need to find my brother fast. I ran deeper into the volcano and entered a room where I found my next sibling trapped inside of a cage. Jake, I'm here to save you. No, it's a trap. Just then, a horrible lava monster appeared to stop me. Looks like I caught the runaway warden wolf. You're mine now. The beast came crushing down towards me. On days 36 through 39, I was facing off against the lava monster. The beast tried to hit me with fiery attacks, but thanks to my resistance, I was able to take the heat. Unfortunately, his massive size still made him a tough opponent to deal with. We traded attacks back and forth, but we were an equal match. If you won't die, then I'll just have to heat things up. Suddenly, the ground began to tremble beneath my feet. The volcano was erupting. Oh no, even I can't survive a volcano eruption. I ran over to Jake's cage and broke him free with a sonic boom while we still had a chance to escape. The two of us ran for our lives as the lava monster laughed at us from behind. <laughs> Jake and I made it outside of the volcano just as the lava exploded out into the air. We ran from the incoming fireballs and found some cover. Oh no, Razo, look! Suddenly, we noticed that the lava was pouring directly towards a nearby forest. The animals inside were in trouble. Oh no, it's going to catch the forest on fire. We have to stop it. 
On days 40 through 43, Jake and I ran to the edge of the forest, where the lava was slowly creeping closer in. I have an idea! Stand back! Using my Warden Wolf digging abilities, I began to dig a trench for the lava to pour into. Unfortunately, even with my powers, I wasn't fast enough. There was too much lava, and we were running out of time. Wait, I might be able to help. My brother ran towards the lava and used his Warden Breath ability on it. Suddenly, the lava was transformed into Skulk. Whoa, that's just the trick we needed. I can't do this alone, Bronzo. Take my power. Just then, a beam of light shot from my brother into me, causing me to gain five more hearts and his Warden Breath ability. Stop the eruption. I'll protect the forest. I began to scale up the volcano while he stayed behind and held off the lava threatening the forest. As I climbed, fire fell from the sky down towards me. Luckily, I was able to dodge the incoming threats. Finally, I managed to reach the top of the volcano and unleashed my new Warden Breath ability onto it. All of the lava turned to Skulk and the eruption had ceased. We did it! I better reunite with Jake! I returned to the bottom of the volcano to find my brother talking with a regular wolf. Oh, thank goodness. I found some warden wolves. We need your help. Wolves always look out for each other. Lead the way. On days 44 through 46, I arrived at the wolf's den to find their alpha being attacked by a wither raptor. Get away from him! Oh yeah, make me! I tried to blast him away with my warden breath attack, but he was able to bite the alpha wolf before I could hit him. I knocked him off of the alpha using my warden wolf claws, but the wither raptor ran away laughing. It's too late. My bite has infected him already. There's nothing you can do now. What does he mean by that? Suddenly, the alpha wolf's fur got black patches all over it. He was changing into something evil. In a matter of days, there will be a full moon, causing me to go crazy. I need the moon tear cure before it's too late. Don't worry, I'll find the cure. The alpha handed me a map to the temple, and I set off in search of the cure. On days 47 through 50, I arrived at the location on the map to find a mysterious moon temple waiting for me. The entrance was sealed by a strange lava puzzle on the door, as well as a sign. If you wish to pass the door, then you must find what waits at the core. I don't know what that means, but I have an idea. I tried to use my warden breath on the door, turning all of the lava into skulk. Suddenly, a passage opened up to me, allowing me to go in to the moon temple. Huh, I guess that worked. I walked inside and into a room with a giant glass roof. There was the moon cure I was looking for. There it is! Before I could claim my prize, a massive guardian emerged in front of me, stopping me in my tracks. You must prove yourself if you wish to have the cure. Bring it on! Just then, the ground under my feet transformed into dirt, and the moon tier cure disappeared. Find the moon tier buried beneath our feet before midnight. On days 51 through 54, I began digging into the ground in search of the moon tier. I searched everywhere, but there was too much ground to cover and it was nearly midnight. There has to be a better way to do this. Then an idea popped into my head and I used my warden sense. To my surprise, I was able to locate an object buried in the dirt. Something's here. I dug towards the treasure and found the moonstone I had been seeking. I did! It. With the moonstone in hand, I returned to the surface and gave it to the guardian. You have passed the trial. Very well. You are worthy of the moon tail cure. The guardian put the now finished cure on the altar when suddenly the wither raptor from before appeared out of nowhere and struck down the guardian. He turned to the altar and grabbed the moon tier cure before I was able to. <laughs> Thanks for completing the trials for me. Now I just have to deal with you. The Wither Raptor grew larger and more powerful before charging right at me. On days 55 through 57, I was locked in battle with the Wither Raptor. Now stronger than before, we were fighting for the cure. The Wither Raptor shot his whirlwinds at me with its new wings and bit me with his three skull heads. I swiped at him with my health-stealing slash along with my warden breath. Shrugging them off, my opponent used an inky black wither beam that sapped my 
my health very quickly. Just as I was about to win, the Wither Raptor started laughing. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm about to defeat you. That doesn't matter. I was just trying to buy enough time for my illness to take over the Alpha. I looked up through the glass roof and realized that it was a full moon. I was too late. You monster! I used my red scythe of doom to kill the Wither Raptor and claim the cure for myself. I have to hurry back to the den. The Alpha is in trouble. On days 58 through 61, I arrived back at the den to find that the Wither Raptor's disease had taken over the Alpha. Wolves were running for their lives as their corrupted Alpha destroyed everything around him. I have to cure him before he hurts someone. I tried to run in close and use the cure, but every time I did, the Alpha would push me away with a Wither Beam attack, just like the Raptor. I was failing my mission until out of nowhere, a laser shot towards the Alpha. I'm here to help. Suddenly, one of my lost siblings, Mary, ran into the battle. Mary, you're okay. Our reunion didn't last long before the corrupted Alpha hit Mary with an attack, causing her to get stunned. Ronzo, take my power before it's too late. The same ray of light as before shot from Mary to me, causing me to gain five more hearts, as well as her warden beam attack. You're going down. I aimed my new ability at the enraged Alpha and shot him with my warden beam. He got stunned in place, and I was able to run in close and give him the cure. The corrupted Alpha transformed back to normal. The pack was saved. Thanks for your help, Mary. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. I need to show you something. I followed behind my sister to see what she had to show me. On days 60 through 64, I followed Mary deep underground to a towering warden monument. I can sense something inside of there. It has to be important. Then I'll check it out. Go back to our siblings and heal up from the battle. Mary agreed with me and the two of us went our separate ways while I headed deeper into to the warden monument. Inside, I found a statue that gave off a strange energy. By instinct, I was being attracted closer towards it. What is this? I reached out and touched the statue, causing me to be sent into a vision. I was now standing in a mysterious realm with my mom and dad in front of me. Mom, dad, where are you? I miss you. Bronzo, there isn't much time. The Wither Wolf's leader is getting stronger by the day. What do you mean? The Wither Wolf is planning on destroying all the Warden Wolves and using our power to take over the world. Find your siblings and defeat them before it's too late. I returned to reality, but I knew what I saw had to be a warning. Oh no, this is worse than I thought. I need to find my last two siblings before his plans are completed. Just then, I heard the sound of footsteps approaching. I was going to be caught. On days 65 through 67, the unknown entity came around the corner and I lunged at them. I was going to get the first hit. Just then, I realized it wasn't a threat, but my lost brother, Gil. Gil, you're okay. What are you doing down here? I, I lost my powers and I needed to come here to reawaken them. Oh no, that's terrible. I'll help you get them back. The two of us headed deeper into the Warden Temple together. As we walked through the halls, a little spider crawled by, startling my brother. Beep. Gil took a step back and accidentally pressed on a pressure plate. To our horror, the room began to shake. It was a trap! Oh no, what have I done? The room was soon swarmed with corrupted undead, and the two of us braced ourselves for the incoming threat. On days 68 through 72, I faced off against the swarm of corrupted undead, while my brother hid in fear. A little help, Gil? N no way! I don't have my powers! I was stronger than the corrupted undead, but their numbers seemed to be endless. I fought with everything I had, but they wouldn't give in. Go away! I let out one final sonic boom to kill all the wither undead in a single blow. In the process, my sonic boom caused a new passage to open in front of us. What's through there? 
Gil and I entered the passageway to uncover an entire ancient city. Waiting there was another statue. Just like before, it seemed to attract us by instinct. I think my powers are inside of there. The two of us approached the statue, when suddenly, the Wither Wolf leader walked into the room. Gil and I ducked behind cover before we could be seen by the evil predator. This is bad. What is he doing here? On days 73 through 75, the Wither Wolf leader walked around the room as Gil and I stayed hidden. I know you're around here somewhere. Once I get my claws on you, I'll take those warden powers for myself. Nothing will stop me. We watched as the Wither Wolf leader began to place TNT all around the room. What is he up to? Uh, I can't sit here and find out. In a panic, Gil ran out of his hiding spot, giving us away. No, Gil! Gotcha! Suddenly, a cage appeared around Gil, capturing him where he stood. <laughs> you can come out now. I have your brother. I had no other choice but to step forward and try to help save Gil. Let him go! Never! I have you both right where I want you! The Wither Wolf leader attacked me, and I prepared for battle. On days 76 through 79, I was fighting against the Wither Wolf leader, trying to protect my brother from his terrifying power. The ferocious leader lunged at me with powerful bite and slash attacks, each claw and chomp dealing massive damage. I returned every hit in full. Then he leaped back and began to pick up massive boulders that he threw at me. The boulders exploded on impact, but I toughed through and shot back with my new wither beam. No matter what though, he did not seem phased. I used all the abilities I had, but even with them, I wasn't strong enough to stop the wither wolf leader in my current state. I have to do something before I'm killed. Just then, I sensed power coming from the statue and made a run for it. Oh no, you don't. The Wither Wolf leader came running after me, but I was able to reach the statue before him. I touched it, gaining five more hearts and the Warden Domain ability. Gil and I had our powers restored. Gil, use your powers! At the same time, both my brother and I used our Warden Domain abilities to stun the Wither Wolf leader in place. Gil broke out of his cage and we finally had the upper hand. You think that'll stop me? Prepare for the fireworks! Just then, the Wither Wolf leader set the TNT on fire. Run! We ran for our lives as the explosion went off behind us. On days 80 through 83, Gil and I barely made it out of the Warden Temple as it went up in flames. I turned around and watched in horror as the Wither Wolf leader stood over the rubble of our monument. I'm coming for you and your siblings. Run while you can. Not even an explosion that big is enough to kill him? Gil and I escaped the area and managed to reunite with our rescued siblings. Rumzo, Gil, you're okay! Mary handed us both some food, which we used to restore ourselves back to full health. What's wrong? It looks like you've seen a ghost. I explained to my siblings what had happened, including the vision I had seen about the Wither Wolf's plan for world domination. Then we need to find Sunny as soon as we can. She's the last of our missing siblings. How will we find her? She could be anywhere. We're all family, right? So we all have a shared connection. We can find her by performing a Warden Wolf ritual together. Then let's try it. On days 84 through 86, my siblings and I gathered in a field and prepared for the Warden Wolf ritual. In no time, my siblings had a summoning circle ready. How does this work? It's all to you, Bronzo. When the moon reaches its highest point, unleash your Warden powers. We all waited in the summoning circle as the moon finally reached its highest point. Now, 
at the right moment, I unleashed all of my different warden abilities into the sky. I used my warden claws and spells, my warden breath, warden beam, and supersonic boom to complete the ritual. Suddenly, a compass appeared in the middle of the circle. It worked! This should take us right to Sunny. Before we could celebrate, the ritual was interrupted by a pack of wither wolves. There you are. We're handing you over to the boss. Oh no, they found us. Bronzo, use the compass to find our lost sister. We'll hold these guys off. My siblings stayed behind to deal with the wither wolves while I hurried ahead to look for my last missing sister. On days 87 through 89, I followed the compass until I arrived at a giant waterfall in the forest. I looked around, but there was no sight of my sister. Where is she? Is this thing broken? Suddenly, the wither wolves came around from behind. They were closing in on me. We've got you now. Uh oh! With nowhere to run, I jumped into the water and swam through the waterfall. Thanks to my warden wolf fur, I was able to make it to the other side to find a massive cavern. What is this place? You shouldn't be here. Suddenly, my lost sister, Sunny, stepped out of hiding. The compass had worked, but she was acting strangely. Sunny, are you okay? Go away! What? But we need to save our parents and stop the wither wolf. I don't want anything to do with you! Without warning, Sunny lunged at me with her wither slashes. On days 90 through 92, I was fighting with my sister Sunny in the middle of the watery cave. She used her stomping attacks to try and crush me while I begged her to stop. She was my sister. I didn't want to hurt her. Sunny, please, we don't have to fight. Peace is not an option. Despite my words, she continued to attack me with the intent to kill. Soon I was cornered and at low health. I'm sorry. I used my sonic boom attack to knock her away from me, causing her to pass out on the ground. Suddenly, a mutant bug dropped down from the ceiling in front of me. Who are you? I'm the one controlling your sister. Why would you do that? I wanted the power of a warden wolf, but I see now you're the strongest of them all. Soon, I'll control you too. The mutant bug attacked me. On days 93 through 95, I was facing off against the mind controlling mutant bug. They were incredibly powerful, but I wasn't going to let him hurt me or Sunny. It spewed a poisonous purple wave at me that drained my health and hunger. I quickly ate and used my new warden domain powers to launch a spear at the bug, trying to steer it through. Not missing a beat, the bug flapped its wings and with a flurry of air, knocked me up into the sky. While I was vulnerable, it teleported directly to me to land some blows. It then summoned some some sort of larva to assist its attacks. I speedily defeated the minions. It was time to end this once and for all. The two of us struggled, but finally I managed to take down the mutant bug once and for all. As the monster met his end, my sister woke up. Oh, my head. What happened? That freak took over your mind. Are you okay? <laughs> now I am. Thanks, big bro. Just then, the wither wolves from earlier swarmed the cavern. We were surrounded by enemies, and I was weak from the previous battle. Capture the warden wolves! Bronzo, take my power! A beam of light shot from Sunny into me, causing me to gain 10 more hearts, growing to my full height and gain Sunny's stomping ability. I was now the ultimate warden wolf with all six of my siblings' abilities. I used my new powers to crush the wither wolves with a whimper. They didn't stand a chance. Let's meet up with the others. The wither wolf leader is going down. On days 96 through 98, Sunny and I reunited with our family. Everyone was excited to see that we were finally all back together. Bronzo, you found her! I sure did, and it looks like you guys took care of those wither wolves. You're not the only one who can fight, and we even managed to get our paws on this. Leo handed me a map to one of the wither wolves' secret bases. This has to be where the leader is! That's right. 
And I think you know what time it is now. For sure. We're finally all back together. It's time to show that Wither Wolf who's boss. Let's do this for mom and dad. Everyone howled together and our minds were made up. Together, we left to save our parents and put an end to the Wither Wolves. On day 99, my siblings and I arrived at the Wither Wolf space to face off with their army. All right, everyone, show them what we're made of. My siblings and I charged into battle and began to fight off hordes of the Wither Wolves. We all unleashed our powers against the horde of Wither Wolves and quickly destroyed their forces. It was going to be an easy win until suddenly a large wolf knight came out to stop us. You warden wolves have caused enough trouble for the boss. Prepare to face my wrath. The wolf knight attacked me and I did my best to hold it off while my siblings fought off the small goons. The wolf knight flew through the air straight at me, slashing viciously as he neared. I fought back as well as I could while sustaining the attack, launching sonic booms and warden beams at him. I knew I could win, but I was running out of time. I need to save our parents before it's too late. Just then, Rose ran up to me in between the chaos. We'll hold him off. Go inside and save our parents. Thanks, Rose. I won't let you guys down. I ran into the base to face off with the Wither Wolf leader while my siblings held off his men. On day 100, I arrived inside of the Wither Wolf space where my parents were being held in a cage. Mom, Dad! I rushed towards them, but the Wither Wolf leader stopped me before I could reach them. Ah, oh, how touching. Too bad you're all going to die here. Let my parents go, you monster! Never! I'll be the alpha of these parts, and soon, the entire world! Not if I have something to say about it! The two of us charged at each other, and the final fight began. In a fury, I unleashed a barrage of warden beans at the Wither Wolf leader, causing explosions to erupt around us. As the dust began to settle, I was hit by a volley of Wither Skull attacks, taking some serious damage. I was able to dodge and rush towards the Wither Wolf leader, closing the ground and assaulting him with a mix of my claws and bite attacks. As he tried to back away, I let loose with my sonic howls, harming him immensely. I stopped to catch my breath when I was suddenly struck by a forceful attack that pushed me back as it impacted, knocking the air out of me. As I tried to regain my composure, I looked up to see him charging at me, snapping his vicious teeth as he neared. The two of us were neck and neck, neither side giving in to the other, but there was too much on the line. I had gathered all of my siblings' abilities to reach this moment, and I wasn't about to lose here. Take this! I landed a big hit, striking down the Wither Wolf leader once and for all. No! The Wither Wolf leader was defeated, and I freed my parents from their prison. The day was saved, and I was now the Alpha Wolf. Bronzo! Don't forget to download Arena Breakout using the link in the description. Thanks Arena Breakout for sponsoring the video.